Method validation for a HPLC method is required in a lab and is common work of a chemist. Shimatsu Nexera and I-Series HPLC system with Lab Solutions Workstation enhance HPLC method performance, thus making method validation work at ease. In this video, HPLC method validation parameters such as selectivity and accuracy are introduced. The method used in my lab for testing of the sample is validated. That's great! Can you explain more on the method validation? How did you evaluate the performance of the method? Sure. Let me show you the components of method validation in my validation report. This is the method validation report. Let's look at the contents. I will explain more about each of the component in the next few minutes. Specificity is the ability to assess accurately the analyte of interest in the presence of components, which may be expected to be present. In LC separation, the analyte peak in the mixture should be symmetric with a baseline resolution of at least 1.5 from the nearest eluding peak. Lab Solutions software perform calculations to obtain these parameters. The values can then be printed and documented in validation report. Now, let's take a look at how to check these values in Lab Solutions software. Double click the post run icon to start a post run sample analysis. Open data file of a standard. At result view, in the data analysis window, click the compound tab. Right click at any point in the table and select table style. Then, add parameters such as HETP, tailing factor, resolution, and K prime to display items. Once you click OK, the values of these parameters will be displayed in the table. Linearity of an analytical procedure is its ability to obtain test results which are directly proportional to the concentration of analyte in the sample. Within a given range, concentration of an unknown sample can be obtained via the calibration curve. Linearity of a calibration curve is often determined by our square value. According to the calibration curve displayed here, the range of this analytical method is between 5 to 100 ppm. Moving on to the third performance parameter, precision. A chemist performs six analysis on a homogeneous sample using two different methods. Method A produces six results that are very different in concentration from each other. On the other hand, method B produce six results that are very close to each other in term of concentration. Percentage RSD are calculated to be 30.5% and 1.38% for method A and B respectively. In conclusion, precision for method B is good, but precision for method A is unacceptable. Next, let's check the RSD value in Lab Solutions software. To check percentage RSD, Double-click browser icon. Open data files in quantitative results view. The calculated percentage RSD of each parameter, such as area and concentration, will be displayed on the bottom of the table. Next performance parameter is accuracy. To determine accuracy of a method, perform analysis on a sample with known amount of analyte and calculate the percentage recovery. For example, Perform analysis on a sample with 10 mg per liter of substance A. Analysis result found that there is 9.1 mg per liter substance A. Divide the amount found by the known amount in sample. The recovery is calculated to be 91%. The method is good in accuracy. Limit of detection, LOD, and limit of quantitation, LOQ, are two parameters that must be included in the validation report. This is target compound. This is the noise. Signal to noise ratio is often used for estimating LOD and LOQ. A signal to noise ratio of 3 is generally considered acceptable for estimating LOD. A typical signal to noise ratio of 10 is acceptable for estimating LOQ. 
Prior to determination of LOD and LOQ of a method in lab solution software, calibration standards must be run to obtain a calibration curve. Double-click post run icon. Open any one of the standard files. At Result View, in the Data Analysis window, click the Compound tab. Right-click at any point within the table and select Table Style. Then, add Detection Limit and Quantitation Limit to display items. Detection Limit and Quantitation Limit will be added as additional columns to the table. Robustness is a measure of the method's capacity to remain unaffected by small, but deliberate variations in method parameters and provides an indication of its reliability during normal usage. During method validation, minor change is made to parameters such as flow rate, pH, column temperature, and mobile phase composition to test the method robustness. Thank you for the explanation. Since the method is validated, I have more confidence in the analysis result now. Excellence in Science Shimazu